Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of the Resident Rise Let's Play here on Rob Mac Plays. Uh, we found our home, uh, which is funny because uh, after dying another time, you can see we were not very far away from there. And there's that pillar that we fell off of and you see that funny thing up there? We're right here. A grave. Isn't this sad? I'm going to dig up my own grave. But in it is the stuff that I had, which means I need to dig up the grave there to get my stuff back. Let's, um, let's get us a little bit more wood and then some dirt. Let's see here. And then we can get our stuff back and get back to the house and keep going on with what we were doing before right which was hopefully not getting our butt kicked too much so um also we were talking about the different mods that are in here we got to uh what do we get to um java so journey map is part of this um i'm actually using a different um map writer and we'll kind of cover that in a little bit um they have uh um uh, Keithy Utilities, something I'm not familiar with. Liquid XP, which is uh, basically the, uh, have the ability to drain XP from yourself and then use that to help um, with enchantments or other th different types of things. So, let's do this. We're going to make a shovel and a pick right away because we think we probably didn't need the shovel. No, they see we got six dirt, but let's just give it a shot and see what we got here. We're already going to run out of health. Or, or, uh, food it looks like so let's uh there it is there's our poor grave there it comes just what we wanted right is all of our stuff back so let's go ahead and get back to the house and take a look at uh getting ourselves going with some other stuff we'll just leave this here i'm not worried about leaving that's it around and we're hungry so yes, food production, definitely a big key start here. Let's see. Said the witchery stuff I could care less about. Cotton seeds would be good, but we can make a bed with that. And bluebells, I think you can make a dye with that, can't you? Yeah. So we'll love that. It's more artichoke stuff. Seems to be that we always get tons of that, so of uh, the uh, witchery stuff, so I'm not worried about losing that kind of stuff right now. And here goes my health. Let's do this. Somehow I got that changed a little bit, but whatever. For now, we're home. We're safe. That's a, a big change from where we ended episode one at, right? So what I'm going to do is make a bed so we have somewhere to sleep, and we can then call this home for now. There we go. So um, let's see. Liquid XP. Next page on here, logistics pipes. Um, in the past, I've had lag issues. Maybe it's just because of the size of of uh, crafting systems that I uh, that I've made. That uh, logistics pipes used to be my favorite mod, and so I would make everything I possibly could out of logistics pipes. Um, we will see how that works with our city design. Maybe uh, maybe that'll help. Maybe it won't. Um, magic bees. Uh, obviously, uh, forestry add-on stuff. Uh, map writer, as I told you, it's an open open source map writing program like this. So now I can, I can actually go in here. I can uh, tag different things. I can uh, actually see that there's that tainted area. Um, so I can uh, mark stuff on the map that I know about. See, there's those uh, little trees and stuff that uh, is in the sky and that spawns. Uh, blue slimes for Tinker's Construct. But as I was saying, I can actually go in. I'm pretty sure... Oh, oh I don't want to change the dimension. Options. Um, again, stuff I haven't... Trail markers. Mm. That's what that does. Um, auto map colors, draw distance, maybe have size, uh, position. Oh, we could... Uh, can move that around too. Well, I guess we like uh, top right. 
is where it's been. Um, map pixel snapping, death markers, background mode. Okay. It's how, ah, next marker group, delete selected marker, cycle selected marker color, center map on player, center map on selected marker, select next marker, teleport to cursor or selected marker, region files, underground map, pans, right click to create a new marker. Ah, so since we had these death markers, Let's see from here. Marker name, home. Marker group. Um, let's call it uh, homes. Okay. So there it is. Now the question is do we. We don't see it in the game. Well, that's interesting. Unless we see it down here. I don't know what those little marks are either. Well, I don't want to add that. So, alright, well. And what would you know? You can actually see the slime chunks, which we happen to be in one. It's quite a bit, actually, so we could uh, definitely uh, find that. It's something that I wasn't expecting to know this early in the game, but hey. We can change the dimensions. Let's see. We have a U for underground map. Oh. Interesting. Okay, well, something we'll get used to as we go along. I was kind of hoping that by creating a uh, uh, marker it would show up on the uh, thing, but it's alright. Then we can... Uh, there we go. We could just call this home. We could do it this way, too. Only visible. So I guess it's uh now we got that. So we'll have to see how that goes. Maybe uh maybe we don't even put this one on the on our visible stuff and we just bring this up as the one we wanna see because of the scrollability. Cause I think on the other one and that's just centered on you, you can't scroll around. So, while we're here, let's just do this. So we know we want this one. We're going to move it to top right. And then on this one, options. Minimap position. Do we have a none? Looks like we don't have an option for that, do we? What if we change the size? That's what we could do. We change it to like. Then puts it down on the bottom left. Let's take a look at which one did we determine if we moved it? Yeah, I think I'm okay with that for now. Yep, I'm okay with that. So let's um, 
Let me get uh, a few other things uh, settled out in my options. And we'll come back right here at home. Alright, and welcome back. So let's uh, let's get ourselves on the road here and keep uh, working on. Now that we uh, have our stuff back and we um, have a place to call home, let's first take a quick rest here. Um, and as far as the mods go, where were we? We talked about the map writer. Uh, let's see here. We also have um, Mariculture. Um, has a lot to do with underwater life so definitely be able to use that uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to I think clear out a little bit of space what are you let's see he ran into something that got him sick I don't know what it was well, let's hope we don't do it what do we got some kind of bees here Curious hive. It's a good thing when you hit them and they don't come flying out. That'd be a. Oh my goodness. That would definitely not be good. Alright, let's. Um, I think we can use this here. I just want to get something set up so we're producing food. Obviously, we'll go through that quite a bit. So, yeah, with Mariculture, obviously. Um, on here, be, although we don't use it, um, you have um, MCPC Plus, which is the uh, um, the wonderful server mod stuff. Uh, we have Mechanism, um, which adds a lot of uh, a lot more ores. Um, let's see, we have Mechanism Generators, um, uh, Mechanism Induction, Mechanism Tools, Metallurgy. That's where that tie-in with uh, Tinker's Construct is. We also have the modular force field system, so that um, we'll be able to get us. Let's see, why are we? Three, four, five. Well, that's right. When we died, we didn't sort our stuff back out yet, did we? Um, let's put you there, and you there, and you there. At least to get us started. Kind of get things in a little uh, semblance of organization. Um, so yeah, a modular force field systems in here. Uh, we also have Mine Factory Reloaded. Uh, definitely, um, definitely like that. Um, we'll probably get into either that or forestry for managing our farms. Um, so I don't, uh, I don't really have a preference. I think they're both, um, they're both uh, definitely great things to be using. Um, we have uh, Mobius Core, which is um, Mobius's um, uh, basic stuff. Uh, modular power suits. I definitely love using those, so we'll uh, definitely get into doing that. Now that uh, we talked about this too, Mistcraft. Uh, we'll definitely. Uh, I love Mistcraft. Uh, the adventure part of that is um, a lot of fun. So we'll be doing that. Natura, we talked about that too. Um, a lot of uh, world gen stuff makes things. Um, a little bit more uh, realistic, I guess. A little bit more variation to the things. Let's I love all these red flowers, but let's start digging some stuff out here so we can make use of this. Um, obviously, uh, we have uh, NEI, uh, the add-ons, and the um, uh, NEI plugins. We have uh, Nether ores. Uh, that is always interesting because that adds. Um, it does add more ores, but it also uh, gives another way for the zombie pigmen to uh, to aggro you. So we will take a look at how much we really want to do in there. Um, obviously, then uh, not enough items. Any eye, um, definitely something that we want to have. It helps us sort everything out and do what we do and and take a look at all the stuff in the game. Uh, we have uh, nuclear control, which is a set of thermal controls for the IC2 nuclear program. We have uh, Numina, which uh, is a new API for uh, Machine Muse's mods. Obsidian plates. Um, I like them, um, or I should say I used to. They, they used to be the only thing that uh, really did this, where you can set, uh, they only activate on players, not on mobs, not anything else besides players. Um, 
but we can use the, uh, the carpenter's stuff now and create um, mods that are, are we can create plates if we go to um, yeah so we can go in here and create these pressure plates and then we use the hammer on them and we can make them only uh, only active to us which is probably not a bad idea since we have blocks and we have a use for them so let's go ahead and create one of those now and of course we have a lot of space in here We'll do uh, we'll do two of them, one on the inside, one on the outside. Uh, and we're gonna need a hammer, which I don't I should have thought about this a little bit more, shouldn't I? So we'll just put one on the inside for now. Open and close the door. We'll save this one for later, cause you know we're stupid and don't realize that we don't have a lot of stuff yet. So we also have, let's see, uh, obsidian plates, open blocks. There's a lot of uh, let's see. I want to say all of this is oh some of this is open peripherals. Let's try open. There we go. So you got uh, this uh, jaded letter is kind of cool because it works like a um, like a hatch, but then when it comes down, it works as a ladder. So it's really nice. It helps you get up over things. Um, open blocks is kind of a whole bunch of little things that just make things um, easier, funner, stuff like that. Um, let's see the building guide. Um, pretty cool because it creates ghost blocks uh, we may do that when we actually get to building our house um, I think the healer is a creative only um, elevator uh, is going to require ender pearls but that's going to be a lot of fun there's some other things here um, as well as uh, they do have these now these paints and then these stencils so you can create lots of different things and you got these height maps which I want to get into too but these some of the stuff requires a lot of um, a lot of different parts, so we'll want to make sure we get um, get into them when we got a lot more. Um, oh wow, there's a lot of stuff that goes into this. The cartographer, Scooge knows for the paint. So, well, when we get uh, get some more materials, we'll definitely get a chance at getting all that together. Let's go ahead and build us a new uh, shovel, quick. Oh no, we had one already. More mandrake seeds for witchery. Whatever. I'm not big on that. We'll uh, we'll definitely touch on witchery. Um, I definitely want to do the best about talking about all of the mods that we have available. Look at that pillar there. Is that death? At how close we were to home. I think it's kind of funny actually. Um, so I want to at least get the information out there about all the mods so we get a chance to uh, to have fun. Um, you know, just because I don't like it doesn't mean that you don't and. Well, let's cover it. Uh, who knows? All right, so we'll do what we can to make everything. Um, I mean, obviously, we want everybody to play and have fun, so that's uh, a big part of this. Let's say if we were going to build a fence, to probably want to go out a couple more here. Because we figure you want to put a fence. So we still have torches. Here we go. So we're going to want to walk space around them so things can't fall in. And then you want maybe. I'm going to start with like five on the inside. One, two, three. So put a fence there. So this will be another corner. So we want to make sure we go one out from there. What we'll do is we'll kind of. We'll terraform a little bit of uh, the surrounding area just so that we can get some of our basics up and as we're out exploring maybe we'll find that spot that we can say hey look this is where you want to be um, in the last few uh, few worlds that I've been on um, and a lot of single players and some other servers that uh, I haven't been recording on um, I've done a lot of digging in for being a home so I want to build up that's why I want to do this city version of of saying hey look this is where we are you know this is what we can do so let's go in here. Let's create a bunch of sticks. Fences are really easy. Six across the bottom. That's going to give us 20. And uh, if my math is right, we're going to need more than that. So let's, uh, let's start with this 40.
So what we don't want is we don't want things trampling down our food. There's nothing like planting a bunch of stuff and then coming back and nothing's there. So... Especially in Minecraft, we definitely need food. So then the other thing we need is a gate to get in here. Uh, this is another vanilla recipe. Where it's just uh, a couple sticks on the sides. And a couple blocks in the middle. And then, look at that, we have a fence gate. Now when we build our house, I'll show you Carpenter's got some more... Uh, some more fun stuff to use but for now all we want is somewhere where we can plant some food we're gonna have to put some water in here too eventually but let's see we got some barley seeds we got some regular seeds thought we had some uh, cotton seeds so what we'll do for now is we'll plant these they're not gonna grow very fast because we don't have any water but we're going to do what we can on these. So let's jump in here. And let's, uh, while I go back to doing some mining and hopefully getting us the materials we need, let's talk more about the mods, shall we? So we have, um, where do we leave off? Uh, open blocks. We have uh, open peripherals, which is uh, for computer craft. Um, if, you've, uh, if you've been watching my channel, you see I kind of got into starting to want to do things with computer craft. I did... Uh, did a uh, computer craft uh, code uh, spotlight for a gentleman, and I'm gonna I'd butcher his name, so I'm not even gonna say it here. Um, so I want to um, definitely uh, first off give him a shout out, tell him thank you for allowing me to do that. It's um, it's always nice when somebody says, "Hey, can you um, can you take a look at this for me, and uh, can you put it out there?" Um, I definitely uh, appreciate doing that. It um, yeah, it says that when people reach out to you and say, "Hey, I know, uh, I know you do some recordings. You know, can you uh, can you look at this for me?" Um, and the biggest thing for me though is I do like to do things uh, mainly in legit worlds. So sometimes it takes me a little bit uh, a little bit longer to get things out, but uh, definitely uh, definitely an option. I'm also looking at actually move. Um, going into doing mod spotlights, but it seems like so many people do them. Um, I like real world applications. I mean, you can, um, there's nothing like watching somebody else and, and saying, hey, you know, they made this, but I think I could have made it better doing that. So you get kind of a base idea, and then from there you can go on and come up with other concepts. So. Um, so from Open Peripherals, we go to uh, Opus, which was a uh, another map scanner that we're not using uh, in this version. We also have um, the plugins for forestry, uh, power crystals, um, which uh, it's power uh, power crystals core, which is uh, a Skyboy. F I'm just gonna screw this up. Power Crystals Core by Skyboy Fork. We also, um, since Red Power has not moved on, um, very, very much thanks goes out to the people that are uh, working on Project Red, which is a uh, clone from Red Power 2. And they come, um, again, they're uh, modular, just like um, before. So you have the base. Um, um, you have some uh, compatibility. You have the uh, integration, lighting, mechanical, and world gen. Um, and most of that is all done. Now I understand that uh, that they did not actually use the Red Power code. They actually went in and rewrote their own code. So um, more power to them. Um, again, we want to thank everybody that that uh, makes these mods because that's a lot of time and effort that they put in into a game that we love to play. Um, it is beyond my skill ability to write those things. So um, whenever you get a chance, definitely give those uh, mod authors a shout out. Um, in everything you do, they um, they deserve it. Whether whether they want to be recognized or not, they really deserve it. Um, if you get a chance, go to their websites and donate. 
Uh, a lot of those places are listed um, on that website uh, where the AT launcher is. You can visit their websites. You can also donate to them directly. Uh, again, that's their time that they're putting out for something that we do and we love to do. So uh, hopefully we can uh, um, help them out, encourage them to keep doing it, uh, doing what they do. Uh, we have another mod called Quarry Plus um, that adds some uh, some bigger and better quarries. Um, the Quarry Plus allows you to build, I believe it's 256 by 256 quarry. It's crazy. Um, so you got a lot of stuff here. Uh, that's Creative Infinity MJ Source. We know that. Marker Plus. Again, this is so that you can create those longer ones. So you got um, some additional things that they've built. Um, I haven't looked into all of them. Um, but definitely the, uh, the Quarry Plus, just a bigger quarries. Um, so if you're into uh, making massive quarries, um, I'm only when it's into biomes that I'm really not going to be in or that I, I definitely don't want to have. Um, the big mountains and things like that that I don't normally go into, that's where, uh, where I looked at this and went, okay, I could use that there. Some people would rather just, you know, not quarry in their world or want to do it, uh, you know, they don't mind just punching holes, however it is. But this will uh, be something that we will, oh, hey, look, I didn't have any torches. We're definitely going to take a look at um, uh, probably using that for some of the the uh, the bigger biomes that I really am not uh, I'm not fond of. Um, one of my ultimate favorite mods, Railcraft. Um, I cannot deny that I got into this game solely because I saw minecarts, and um, Railcraft is by far my favorite mod. I, c I couldn't tell. If I was only told you can only choose one mod, that would be it right there. I could go with just about everything else. Um, the idea that that, um, that you can just create um, basically just trains and uh, you definitely can't complain about uh, what that all brings to the game. Uh, let's see. We have uh, Redstone Arsenal. Um, and uh, redstone paste. Although I don't think uh, with uh, because we have the project red, we probably won't use redstone paste. It actually allows you to put the the dust right across the blocks. Um, our, um, I'm gonna screw this up. I, everybody says it's either REI's mini map or Ray's mini map. Uh, either way, um, it's not one that we're using. Um, let's see, reliquaries on here. I think we're getting towards the end of the list, right? We're in the R's, right? Um, let's see. Uh, we have a uh, remote I.O. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm not familiar with it. I'm kind of looking at the description here. Uh, it says the remote I.O.'s can be linked to any block with an inventory. It says, imagine this. Four separate quarries all outputting into a unique remote I.O. link. Um, to all outputting into a unique re remote I.O. linked to a single chest. Gone are the days of pipes. You are also able to link the remote I.O. to machines and even use them with fluids. I think that's beyond what I like to do. Um, basically, I think that, that would, um, yeah, whether it's OP or not, you know, you could probably say that it is. Um, but it's beyond the scope of what I want to do. Um, again, we'll probably touch on it. But that'll be about it. Let's create us a new pick here. And kind of starting to get uh, running short on the room here. So we're going to uh, do this. We're going to, there's more witchery stuff. And we're just going to take all this uh, outside stuff and put it out here. That's probably not outside stuff, that's food. To give us a little bit more room. This river came from biomes of plenty can be used to make hey look, tools, quartz tools. It can also be used to make wood and stone tools and iron tools. We can use it pretty much as wood. Well that's interesting. Could I just use that to make my new pick? Alright. So where are we? Um 
Our, our utility is a recipe manipulator. Um, probably not going to do that. Simple recycling is a, is Greg free, as it says, and easy. Um, uh, slick utilities is MPS uh, utilities. Um, small boats add some bigger, uh, better boats. Hmm, something I haven't tried out yet. It's not in here as small boats. Maybe it's in as something else. Let's see. Mod. It says it's in here, but I don't see. Should have been there. Hmm. All right. So we'll have to see about what uh, what happened with that. Steve's carts. Um, definitely another uh, another great mod to be using. Um, as you see here, I'm just picking up some of the ores. Um, Mechanism adds a bunch of ores. That's what this is from. This is uh, iron ore, and then this is uh, sturdy quartz from Applied Energistics. Uh, like I said, we'll probably get into using that. We'll probably combine systems. It's the best way, I think, um, to help keep our um, leg overhead down. But we'll uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, I definitely don't want to lead you guys down the wrong way. So bauxite ore, we're going to pick that up too because I believe, if I'm right, that's actually what we're going to use for aluminum. There's so much integrated into this system now that it's become crazy as to uh, what ores can be used for what. Uh, but we're going to learn them as we go along, because that's what we get to do. Where our staircase has gotten a little funny looking lately, huh? So where were we? Um, Steve's Cart's uh, Super Crafting Frame. Um, basically, uh, you can set that up on your uh, chest and set up the crafting and then as long as you have the base items in your inventory or in the chest it, you just right click on it and it will give you the item it just crafts it up for you um, so we have uh, let's see tabby chats on here thumbcraft 4 another wonderful wonderfully done um, uh, magic mod um, Talked about uh, Thomic Tinker, uh, a lot of um, a lot of add-on to that. Um, thermal expansion, uh, you probably figure that that's always going to be one of my uh, base mods at this point. Just solely on the fact that it's, I don't know why I did that. See, now I feel bad because you all saw that on camera, how bad I did on that. Add one right in my inventory. So, um... It's pretty much how I process ore. Um, you know, you can use a system like Applied Energistics to get it there, but you can't can't use that to actually process the ore. So we're uh, so we got to process it somehow, and I and I'm pretty sure that's the way we're gonna do it. Um, thermal expansion adds a whole bunch of stuff. Um, power generation. If you haven't seen the new stuff, you definitely need to uh, to get there. Thermal expansion three. Brought in, uh, I mean, just a, a so much new stuff. Um, let's see, let's do this right to mod dot therm. Um, so you can see here now the power generation. Um, you've got they got call them dynamos now. Steam, magmatic, and compression. You also have this uh, reactant dynamo. Um, so it requires f fluid fuel and a solid reactant. Ooh. Uh, that would be cool. But you can see, remember we just had the redstone energy cells before? And all the work you had to do to get them. Uh, remember you had to build all this stuff and you had to have this energy cell frame that was full. You had to go all, all the way back to this part. Remember when you had to do that? You had to make the hardened glass just to be able to get something to store it? Well, now it's actually a tiered system. So let's get out of the creative one. This is the cheap one. It's leadstone. Leadstone energy frame. This block of redstone. You got some glass and some lead. And throw that in uh, into this recipe here, and you have a cheap way to store a little bit of redstone flux. Redstone flux is now what they've moved over to um, how the energy network that's used in here. So, a lot of tiered systems. Again, remember we had just a portable tank. Now we got a lot of them. 
You got the uh, hardened one, the reinforced one, and the resonant one. So you have the leadstone, hardened, redstone, and resonant energy cells. You now only have one tesseract that can uh, can do items, fluids, um, power. I mean, it's just uh, just amazing what they can all do uh, on there. Um, the the uh, some other things about like terrain smasher. Um, this is supposed to do a lot of interesting things. This um, autonomous activator. So if you have some ideas, let me know. But here's the things we're used to. Um, you got the, uh, a redstone furnace. You have a pulverizer, sawmill, induction smelter, magma crucible, fluid transposer, glacial precipitator, the igneous extruder, aqueous accumulator, the cyclic assembler, the energetic infuser. You also have this machinist workbench. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Maybe we should take a look at that. Um, so again, you got a lot of um, a lot of things to look at here. We got these resonant flux capacitors as well, um, and a lot of the the tools and things are going to go into building all that. So, again, something we're going to be able to sit back and have fun doing what we do, um, and building like crazy. Because this is where this is Minecraft. Where what do we do? We dig up blocks and we put them down in, in different ways. So let's uh, let's keep going here. We got um, obviously like we talked about. We have uh, Tinker's Construct. Uh, we have uh, Tinker's Mechworks, and then we have uh, Translocator, Tube Stuff, um, Twilight Forest. Definitely another great mod out there. Uh, a whole new dimension of stuff to explore, and wonderful stuff that it adds. So we will get into that. But I. I'm thinking that since it is just me in here that we might get into that a little bit later when we can um, handle some of those bigger fights a little bit, uh, you know, handle them on our own. That's going to be the big part here. So, um, underground biomes. I don't remember if I turned them on. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Um, but underground biomes, basically, um, um, a whole different set of biomes when you get underground. Um, we have uh, obviously, like I said, universal electricity and the whole API for that. Um, voxel map um, it used to be called Zan's mini map, and then we have Wela. Wela is definitely uh, something that is going into almost everybody's mo uh, mod packs these days, and it stands for "What am I looking at?" You see that box up there at the top that keeps changing when I point to different things? Yep, that's what Wayla is. What am I looking at? Uh, there uh, used to be a lot of other, um, a lot of other mods and plugins that did that. Now we just have Wayla, uh, which covers a lot of it. Not only is it going to tell you the item, it's going to tell you what mod it comes from. That's the best part. So you can see here, bauxite comes from Mariculture. Stone is a basic Minecraft. Same with this torch that I'm looking at. Um, well, you can just see every little thing where it comes from. We're going to run a bunch of stone because we're downstairs and I've mined everything else up. But see here, you got limestone is from Chisel. So, uh, definitely another one of those great things to, to have and that we're going to use. Um, let's see, I think we got one more page. It's not much. Uh, we talked about it already. Witchery is, um... Uh, definitely, uh, it add, it does add some parts to it. I've uh, I've watched a couple of mod spotlights on it, uh, so I'm not I'm not against including it in what we do. I just think that there are better uses of our time. Um, not to say anything bad about the uh, about the uh, mod authors. I, it's just it's not what I'm into, but I'm sure that they've gotten into something. What do we got here? Limestone. I love building with limestone. A lot of stuff that uh, looks really good with what we do there. Let's see. Have we been doing five? Been doing four. I think we got uh, a little ahead of ourselves. I'm not going to complain once we add in stairs and stuff anyhow. But who knows how long we're going to be here. We're just kind of digging stuff up now and trying to get stuff done. And then we have uh, Wireless Redstone Chicken Bones Edition. Thank you, Chicken Bones, for all you have done. Um... Making uh, making your mods what they are uh, definitely uh, 
help to all of us in our wonderful thinking of what should we do in Minecraft. So that covers all of that. Why don't we uh, take a quick break and we come back. We'll continue. Um, what I'll do is I'll actually um, I'll go ahead and keep mining and I'll probably put it on time lapse. We'll uh, throw some music to it and see what we come up with. Welcome back here. As you uh, saw, we did a little bit of a mining. Uh, we got a few things here. We're gonna. Uh, we need to start uh, getting some of this stuff going, and I don't like to waste anything if I can help it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first thing that we can do. That is going to make things easier for us to process. And let's start with. Uh, I believe it's called a grinder. It is from Applied Energistics. Um, we need to make a uh, wood gear. We'll need some dust. Some oh, we'll have to cook up some stone. All right. Well, it's about time that we get a, th a furnace going. This is a uh, Minecraft original. The furnace. Look at that hot topic. You know what? Let's keep us warm. Let's put it right by our bed. Why not? Sort of like half our coal in there. Um, of course, we don't need that much stone. What do you say? Uh, we do like eight. That's about one. Uh, use that up. Let's see. Oh, it's night time. I see that skeleton is going to come down and visit us. Oh well. He can do that. We still haven't been out to get our food yet either. As you can see, I'm uh, a little hungry. Let's see here though. We don't have any magic over there. Here we got a couple of uh, shards from Thomcraft. I don't know, we're going to need all of them to get started, so we're okay there. Um, let's see, we're going to need a little bit more sticks. Oh, let's do this way. I think, um, is it an L shape? There it is. That's the crank we're going to need for that. And, I'll take that stone out. Stone cobblestone crank and dust. Let me make this again with the uh, the with the everything that's new in here. You can see here you get those question marks here. Remember how you used to do that? And you get the ghost blocks. Well, if you hold down shift and then left click on that, it will uh, pull everything out of your inventory and make it if you have everything. So we're missing something that wood gear yet, right? So we're gonna. Uh, that's really simple. That's a uh, I, uh, build craft recipe. So we'll take that out, and then we can left click. There, everything falls into place, and we'll just pull that one right out. What this does is it's a long manual process for us to double our ores. We just take that, we put the crank on top, and then we can put items up here. It takes about eight turns of the crank, and then we'll get our two dust down there. So we take something like our iron, and we just throw it right in there. And you just hold this down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight. Oh, that's actually nine times around now. Let's see. There you go. We got ourselves two iron dust. So again, um, in cooking up eight things uses one bit of coal. So we're going to try and save a little bit there. Again, we're going to become wasteful. Everything does. When you get bigger you're gonna have waste that's the way this whole process works everything is wasteful all you gotta do is look at less and we put one person you know in real life you put one person on a bit of farmland and they're gonna be as economical as possible with everything 
when you look at uh, huge cities, there is waste everywhere. Nothing you can do about it. It is the nature of the business. So let's go ahead, uh, throw that in there. We'll get this little bit of stone we got left out here. We'll cook up that iron, and then we'll be able to get some of the stuff that we mined down there. Let's take a look here then at our map. Um, we knew about this, and it's growing. So that's definitely not a good sign. Uh, that is, like I said, it is tainted land. Um, it's unfortunate that that's going to be there, but um, it is. Let's see. It's not telling us what the biomes are out here. That's funny. I don't know why. But anyhow, um, this is where we ventured down when we died in this uh, first couple episodes. In that first episode, that taint is growing. The only way to stop that is to go out there and dig it all up, or we can uh, uh, use Thomcraft's mat, um, um, you know, magical woods um, or magical forest biome, and use some of that stuff to help uh, fend that off. Otherwise, if you know something about getting rid of that, I'd appreciate knowing about it. Something that I have not really dealt with, I just run away from it. So we might be here just as long as that kind of creeps across, and when it gets here, we just bail. We'll have to figure out what that's going to be. Um, I just, you know, it's a game mechanic, and we can appreciate what people put into it. But uh, again, as you can see here from the way we're facing, we've been heading south. So uh, we're not really discovering anything new where we're digging. We're actually going to start getting underneath the uh, uh, looks like gravel beach here. And then this is uh, obviously going to be ocean biome. So with that, uh, again, I appreciate everything that you guys do for me, which you would include uh, if you would be so kind as to click like on the video. Also, if you could leave a comment. And if you are not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, again, I appreciate everything that you do for me. Um, as much as I hope that you appreciate that uh, I go ahead and record this for you. And uh, with that, have fun.